type of uh, locomotor organelles in the apart from the pseudopodium and flagella now we are going to see the smallest one is goes to cilia cilia is another type of cell locomotor organelles in the protozoa that is goes to cilia cilia is the small air like projections the compared to the flagella flagella is a very viplex structure but the cilia is not like that only smaller shorter in size of the cilia will be there the cilia <coughs> is a formation of various part or various uh, part of area for example we goes to paramecium paramecium the orientation is a, for example this is a complete body is presents into the may we call as holotrichus entire the body we consideration as the paramecium is possessed to the number of cilia as presents was highly modification of ciliates like verticella verticella is goes to peristomial area is only cilia is presents for example sectorians sectorians one more type of ciliates is complete the body orientation will complete the body by the cilia are there cilia also the same type of flagella how the flagella is consisting of a 9 plus 2 arrangement similarly the cilia also we show the same type of arrangement will be there right uh, the cilia is goes to fastest moving cilia is goes to fastest moving the protozoans movement the compared to amoeba and flagella cilia is the show the fastest movement but uh, next it goes to cilia how the show the movement is goes to basically similarly for that uh, flagella is showed by the uh, effective stroke and recovery stroke but we are must be say here man is goes to kinetics must be there kinetic kinetic means kinetosomes kinetosomes and kinetodesmata kinetosomes and kinetodesmata now we get a long, long, longitudinal tube of kinetosomes kinetodesmata constitute together we called as kinetic these all are consisting into the infraciliary system infra ciliary system infra ciliary system where it is presence means below of the pellicle below of the this is the pellicle below of the pellicle this type of uh, infra ciliary system will be there this is a transverse tubule of the each and every cilia and again we consisting of a longitudinal this is a transverse tubules this goes to longitudinal tubules transfer longitudinal tubules we constitute we call as a canetoid desmata the three are we consider just consisting of a unit the unit we call as kinetic one is goes to kinetosomes longitudinal tubules and the canetoid desmal fibers to constitute we call as kinetic is very very important one kinetic these all are kinetics all are each by each and every kinetics and each and connected to the all the cilia and all are connected to the below of the pharynx one more center will be there motorium center motorium center this is uh, controlled by the infraciliary system that is motorium center motorium center is control the all the movements of the ciliary movements but the cilia <coughs> is performed by the effective stroke and recovery stroke by the right angle this is a pellicle like that the cilia is a one like two movements Three, four, five, like six means uh, first uh, the cilia come to rigid structure and beat to the this type of direction of orientation, backward direction of orientation. Organism it must be show forward direction of movements. First the cilia is a formation of rigid like structures to beat backward direction like the stepwise to backward direction and becomes that's a very slow becomes a very uh, becomes a rigid rigidness is loss this comes to normal the from to come come back to the normal position that is goes to recovery stroke this is goes to effective stroke second one is goes to recovery stroke <coughs> effective and recovery strokes will be there this type of orientation will be there this type of movement we call as a pendular movement but flagella will be showed by the wave like movements we call as undulation movement will be performed by the flagella but here cilia will only performed by the effective and recovery stroke that's the pendular movement will be performed by the this type of cilia 
okay this this type of ciliates will be performed by the fastest movement in the protozoans okay this one in addition to that pseudopodium flagella and the uh, cilia in addition to that some of the myotomes or myonemes means it goes to actin and myosin tubules too it is performed by the it is performed by the uh, movement of the protozoans that is goes to myotomes or myonemes last one is goes to last one is goes to myono myotomes myotomes where it is presence of myotomes means below of pellicle below of pellicle below of pellicle the myotope the transverse transverse for example this is uh, euglena or this type of transverse tubules like structures we called as myotomes with help of the myotomes it must be show the movement and which which uh, protozoan we should not have the locomotor organelles those type of organisms must be show the help of the myotomes which show the jacking and zigzag movement zigzag movement will be performed by the the help of myotomes are skidding skid skidding movements skidding and zigzag movement is performed by the these are the non locomotor organelles for it goes to uh, <coughs> nidosporians and this goes to uh cryptos cryptozoans all we discuss into the this type of myotome will help of the show the this type of the movements these are the all we consider as a locomotion is protozoa first one is goes to pseudopodium and types of pseudopodium is goes to lobopodium philopodium axopodium and actinopodium next is goes to types of flagella the flagella is the second type of locomotor organelle the flagella the presence of mastogonemes and flimmers the five types there is goes five types one is goes to stichonematic pentanematic dacronematic pentachronematic and goes to animatic that is example must be considered next uh, the ultra structure of flagella we are seeing next number of flagella is plus different organelles we are seeing next third one is goes to cilia the cilia like this paramecium is goes to enter the body orientation of the cilia some of highly modified of uh, uh ciliates for example verticella is goes to peristomium area also we present sub cilia second uh, last one is goes to some sectorians to orientation of complete the body is filled with the uh, compare orientation to the cilia cilia is performed by the this type of effective and recovery stroke and one more time one more thing moment also will be there one is goes to basically this type of uh, cilia once a time it show the moment it is goes to synchronized movement synchronized synchronized movement means all cilia to perform the at a time the moment will be express express we call as synchronized movement second one is goes to metachronous movement metachronous movement metachronous movement means alternate one cilia another with the beating with another cilia alternate it showed by the wave like movement wave like movement that is goes to metachronous movement is a synchronized movement and the metachronous movements will be there these are the two versus goes to effective stroke recovery stroke synchronized and metachronous uh, movements will be performed by the cilia the cilia is movement is highly fast then compared to the flagellar movement and amoebaid movement and last one is goes to myotomes and myoneme that muscle muscle like fiber structures we consider as a myonemes it is also it show the movement means non locomotor organelle protozoans for example nidosporans the example for that these organisms for show the movement is goes to zigzag or skid skid on over on to the substratum the skidding type of movement will be expressed to the help of myotomes these are we complete about uh, locomotion let us goes to we are go to reproduction is a protozoa reproduction also we consideration of to produce another organisms that is a major concept is goes to reproduction the reproduction we are seeing in this is a protozoa that is goes to sexual and asexual reproduction sexual and goes to asexual reproduction first we are going to discuss about asexual then after switch to the sexual reproductions